Hi, I'm Eddie Smith with the Infinite Actuary. As you probably already know, the SOA is changing the exam pathway for all of the FSA tracks. All of the information made public so far by the SOA can be found at SOA.org. But in the short video, I'm going to give you an overview of what the new system will look like. First, I'll give you a high-level rundown of the changes. Then I'll talk about the general structure of the new FSA exams and I'll discuss a few exceptions to that general structure because there are a few. And then finally I'll talk specifically about the new finance slash ERM track which will be slightly different than the other tracks. Again this video is only a summary of publicly available information and I am in no way affiliated with the SOA who is obviously the ultimate authority on all exam changes and information about the coming exam changes. So first a quick rundown of the changes at a high level. As you may know the finance ERM track already started changing in 2012 specifically July 1st 2012. Uh, at that time the old AFE exam was replaced with a new four-hour ERM exam and a two-hour advanced finance exam. Now the interesting thing about the ERM exam is that unlike the other exams that you have today or that exist today it will persist through the transition and we'll talk more about that in a moment. All other tracks other than the finance and ERM track will be impacted by July 1st 2013 so you can sort of think of that as the midpoint of the year and the changeover from spring to fall because fall 2013 will be when we see these new exams appear and so this would include the individual life and annuity track, investments track, group health, retirement benefits, and then there will be some additional changes for the corporate finance and ERM track that I'll talk about. We don't expect to see the new syllabus for any of these exams until May 2013, but we may get lucky and see it sooner. It just depends on how quickly the SOA can build out these new uh, exams. So generally, each FSA pathway is going from a 6-6 structure to a 5-5-2 structure. So that's shorthand, meaning uh, today we have two 6-hour exams for each FSA path generally. We're going to transition to a pathway where there are two 5-hour exams and then a third two-hour exam. And we'll talk about this more in a moment, but the SOA has already said that people should not have to take additional exams as a result of the transition. And they're also being, in my opinion, somewhat generous. They're saying that if you have passed a six-hour exam on the current system, you'll be given credit for a five-hour exam and a two-hour exam. So you actually gain an hour uh, by passing a six-hour exam. So that's certainly an incentive for you to pass those six hour exams soon. So if you're taking a six hour exam in the spring and you're looking for a little extra motivation, I think that would be it. All of the new exams on the new tracks will be track specific. We'll talk about that more in a moment. And then if you're wondering about the other uh, pieces along the pathway, there will still be three modules, the DMAC module and then the FAC, of course, at the very end. Another notable change is that you will be able to get a CERA credential on any track. You'll have the option of, of leaving uh, with the CERA no matter which track you take. To do that you'll have to substitute that two-hour exam I mentioned before with the four-hour ERM exam and that's the same ERM exam that exists today. So you'll take two five-hour exams and then a third four-hour ERM exam and that will give you the CERA credential on top of your FSA credential provided that you meet all the qualifications uh, for FSA. In the fall of 2013 the SOA will introduce its brand new general insurance track. There will also be Canadian specific exams for group health and so uh, Canadians uh, and US students will take different exams so that will be similar to how things are today on the individual life and annuity track. And then finally another notable change is that the finance and ERM and investment tracks will become independent. Today they each share or they both share a common exam, the FETE exam. And so on the new system they're going to have separate exams. Let's look at how the exam structure will change. Today we have two six hour exams and then you take three modules, the decision making and communication module and then of course the FAC at the very end. On the new structure, you're, instead of having two six-hour exams, you'll have two five-hour exams. The first of those will be called the Fellowship Core Exam, denoted FC. 
The second will be a fellowship advanced exam FA. Both of those are five hours. And then that two hour exam that's coming will be called the fellowship non-core exam. Again, all three of those will be track specific. And of course, there will be no changes uh, to the other pieces. There'll still be three modules, the decision making and communication module, and then the fact. But as I mentioned before, you will also have the option of picking up the CERA credential on any track. And the way you do that is by eliminating that two-hour exam and taking the four-hour ERM, ERM exam instead. And so really, uh, you could think of this as for an extra two hours worth of exam time you could leave with a CERA. I'll leave it up to you whether you think that's a good deal. Uh, personally, I think that's a pretty good deal uh, for only two hours more of exam time. There are a few exceptions to that general structure we just talked about. The retirement benefits track, uh, students on that track will take the two EA exams instead of a fellowship core exam because there is overlap between the retirement benefits track and the EA track. And for finance and ERM, there will be a transitional FA exam structure in the fall of 2013, and I'll talk more about that in just a second. And then I also want to note that the ERM module is required if you want the CERA credential on any track. So uh, one of those three modules that you would take needs to be an ERM module. Uh, today there are already ERM modules in place uh, for each or for several of the tracks. And uh, but just one caveat here is if you were to uh, go into the transition having already completed three modules but none of them were an ERM module and you wanted to take the CERA option, then you would have to take a fourth ERM module. So that's really the only way you might get stuck taking an extra module is if you didn't have the ERM module and you had already taken three of the non-ERM modules. So just be aware of that. Now let's talk specifically about the corporate finance and ERM structure, which is a little bit different than the others. Um, on this structure today, uh, and again, this itself is in a transitional state. It began transitioning in the second half of 2012. And as I mentioned before, there's an ERM exam and an advanced finance exam. In fall of 2013, there will still be that same ERM exam barring syllabus changes. But instead of this temporary advanced finance exam, the FA exam will be split into two parts, FA1 and FA2. And the SOA has said if you've passed the two-hour advanced finance exam, the one that exists today, you basically get credit for FA1, and so you would only have to take FA2, the three-hour exam, in the fall of 2013. And then, of course, you would have to complete the new fellowship core exam on the CFE uh, pathway, which presumably will resemble in some way the current FETE exam. We don't know that for sure, but that's a good guess. And then, of course, there are the other uh, three modules, DMAC and the FAC. Now, I think it's a really good idea to pass the advanced finance exam quickly if you already have it, because uh, when spring 2014 rolls around, FA1 and FA2 go away and they're combined into a single FA exam five hours in length which is you know more equivalent to the other pathways so if you get to 2014 and you have not passed FA1 and FA2 even if you've only passed one of them uh, you will have to take the full five-hour FA exam so that wouldn't be very fun so if you embark on this pathway uh, this year in 2013, uh, make sure you definitely knock out those FA exams before you get to 2014. Thank you for your time today. Again, my name is Eddie Smith. Uh, everyone at the Infinite Actuary is watching the SOA closely to see how this transition unfolds. We've already begun preparing our educational products for the new system. Uh, we want to make sure that we're uh, in a position to offer you products that help you prepare for these exams. Uh, but given the uncertainty and the timing of the uh, release of the syllabus and the syllabus material, at this time we don't know exactly when all the products will be available. Uh, so keep a close eye on our site for updates on that. And of course, keep an eye on the SOA site for updates from them. And feel free to email me anytime uh, at eddie at the infinite actuary.com. I'd be happy to answer your questions to the best of my ability. Thank you and good luck.